All new tonight, police cracking down on violent crime, prostitution and dangerous living conditions. And investigators say it was all done tonight by shutting down just one business. It's a motel in College Park that police and health officials say is a magnet and breeder of crime. Now, many of the units are just disgusting with several full of mold and some of the residents there are children. Police tell our John Sherrick it is just one of many businesses they're targeting. Police call it one of the worst, most dangerous businesses on this stretch of Old National Highway in College Park. So it's one of the first, they say, that they're targeting to crack down on crime. There's not even a sign out front of the business. This is Motel X, as in X-rated, rooms for adults only, on Old National Highway and I-285. But it is a place of homicide, shootings, thefts, prostitution, police say, where some families with children even live in dilapidated rooms in back, along with black mold. I mean, it's horrible because people are only here because they have to be, not because they want to be. Most of us, anyway. Deneen Brand has lived here in her one-room rental with her four children for three years. They moved in here before, she says, the owner installed stripper poles behind the doors painted purple. The Motel X website advertising two hours for $20, each room complete with a stripper pole. But the business is closed now. Residents still here have until April 27th to move out because of the police raid last week, along with the Fulton County Board of Health. This, this hotel has been on our radar for quite a while. College Park Police Major Lance Patterson. Thefts, shootings, homicides, unfortunately, uh, prostitution concerns. The Waffle House manager next door, Roosevelt Ware, had to lock his restaurant's doors permanently and take orders for takeout only. He's glad the motel is shutting down. A first step, he says, to restoring the neighborhood where he grew up to the neighborhood he remembers. Yeah, it was, it was shut down some of the issues, but you'll hear gunshots at least twice a week. It, it, it starts from Thursday on. Major Patterson says this bust is meant to send a message to the whole neighborhood. We'll continue to look at uh, other locations in the city where uh, similar complaints are being made and we'll take similar action. We are working to reach the owner of the motel for comment. He was just one of the people cited or arrested during the raid as the city of College Park now prepares to enforce the codes on his soon-to-be vacant building. In College Park, John Shearick, 11 Alive News.